Hi, I'm Kai, and today we want to have a look how we can handle PLC connections, which can be input or output. There are some devices on the market which has PLC connections which can be configured. For example, the ET200AL from Siemens. There, a connection can be an input or an output, depending on your configuration. And how to handle this in ePlan is part of this video, so stay tuned. So let's have a look in the data sheet, for example, from the ET200AL from Siemens. Here on one plug, you can have input and output. When you see the one, two, three, and four examples here, you see that the pin number three is the minus, pin number one is the plus, and on pin number four, you can have a digital input or you can have a digital output. And this is configurable in ePlan as well. And how to handle this, I will show you now. So I downloaded this macro from the data portal and you can see that by default, it's a digital input on pin four and two but it can also be a digital output. Let's have a look on the um, PLC Navigator. So when we mark it, Control S, we jump into the PLC Navigator and can have a look. So here we go to the tab Symbol and Function Data and see that the definition is a multifunction definition. Multifunction means it can be a various yeah, kind of signal. Normally, when you set it hard to a digital input, you would select digital input. I'm sorry, this is still in German. I don't know why I use the English user interface, but ePlan don't translate it. So we have here the multifunction. And the problem is now when we mark this and make right click and address, for sure ePlan knows that it's a digital input and will um, address the inputs according to your um, settings here. So we go here and then you see that the input now is three. But when you want to have an output, it needs to um, work as well. So I have placed one of these connections also here in the uh, on a multi-line drawing. And here you can see that on the simple function data, it's also the multi-function drawing, uh, the multi-function definition. And when we click on logic, you can change the type of signal. So here you can also change that this is an output. So I cancel this and I make a right click and go to property globals. And you see that here I'm on the connection for simple function data logic. And I add here digital output, apply and okay. And when we jump now to the overview, and have a look on this pin. It's the uh, multifunction. On this pin, you have the logic, it's digital output. And um, have a look in the um, parts management. This is also really important. So when we go to the part and have a look on the function template, you also need to define here in the function template that your PLC connections, for example, here, uh, number, number two, three, zero, and one is the multifunction. So let's have a look how it looks now when we um, go to address. We have, I set here the output to 100, just to make sure that it's visible what happens now. When you click OK, you see that one is starting with 100. And this is this one, because we have set the um, definition here of the type of signal to output. By the way, it's not necessary to go to um, uh, properties global. It's just enough when you do it um, with the normal properties. So that's the way how it works in ePlan when you have PLC connections, which can be input and output. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please drop a like. If you have further questions, please drop a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications. I recommend to watch you this video and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.